All right, everybody, lesson C here in Photoshop is all about using our layers panel. So I kind of alluded to it at the end of unit B last week that um, unit C, we were going to dive farther into using our layers panel, which remember is one of the most powerful tools um, that Photoshop has. So to get things started, we are going to need to go to our Google Classroom and grab our PSC1 file and download this and it may take a while because of the fact that this is a Photoshop file and um, it does have quite a few layers on it so just give it a second um, as it downloads like I said it's a bigger file so it's gonna take just a little bit to do Um, remember that one of the reasons that we need to focus on our layers is knowing when we need to save a file as a Photoshop file and when we need to save a file as a JPEG. If the file can be compressed down and we don't ever have to edit, edit it again with layers, then we can save it as a JPEG. If we have to edit it again and use layers, then obviously we want to save it as a Photoshop file. So a few things here. Let's look at our layer panel. I'm going to close up all my other ones. So my layer panel is the only one that's open. And you're going to see we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 layers total in this graphic. Um, note how they have each one of them named. I talked about that at the end of Unit B. Why that's so important so that we can see what is on each layer um, quickly and easily. Because without it, sometimes the thumbnails are not very big and that can be kind of um, annoying. I do want to show you real quick. Um, if you go up to the word layers and then move your mouse over, to the right until you come to what are called the layer panel options. It's like a little downward facing arrow and three lines. Um, if you click on that, go down to where it says panel options down closer to the bottom and click on that. And then you actually have the option to set the size of the thumbnail. Um, I believe that the default is the medium one, and I personally like that size because I think it's not too big and not too small. But feel free to look at what it looks like if you choose the large one versus the small one. Maybe you'll prefer one over the other. Um, but like I said, I usually leave mine on the medium size, but you are welcome to change the size of your thumbnail if you feel like that helps you see better what's on each layer. So I just wanted to point that out. Um, the other thing I want to show you about your layer panel uh, is on the left hand side of each layer is a little icon. Um, all that icon means is whether that la layer is visible or not. So if you go down to the passport layer right now and you click on the little eye, it hides that layer. It doesn't delete the layer, it just hides the layer. Um, and so that visibility um, can actually be saved. So you could actually have multiple layers on a graphic and maybe not have them visible when you save, and then those layers would technically be hidden. So you can just kind of play around. Um, you can hide the couple, you could hide the roses, um, you could hide the text for our Roman holiday, whatever it happens to mean, we just call that the um, visibility icon. And so that's what that is. Um, I'm going to talk about the FX a little bit later, so let's just ignore that. Um, but then again, come down to the background and um, see that right over here we also have a lock indicator. So if you ever are working and you really like the position that you have something and you want to make sure it doesn't get bumped, you can always lock that layer. Um, for example, let's click on our pen layer right now. And then up on the layer panel, you're going to see where it says lock. Just head over to where they have the little lock icon and click on that. And now if you try to grab your move tool, it's going to tell you that it could not use it because the layer is locked. So that's kind of a handy feature if, like I said, you have something, you're, you've got it right where you want it to be and you don't want it to get bumped, feel free to lock that layer. It's very easy to unlock. You just make sure that layer is selected.
click on the lock icon and now if you grab your move tool you could move that wherever you needed to um the other thing i want to talk about with the layer panel is that the layers work with whatever is closest to the top of the layers is what is most visible and as you move down it's kind of like a sandwich so you can see that the background is technically the very last layer it's just white and this passport layer covers it all so you don't see the white background at all um, then you have the passport then you have this coin if we click on it you'll see it's this one right here and you can see how the Colosseum and the picture of the couple actually overlap it um, because the Colosseum and couple and couple shadow layer on top of it so it's like like I said, it's like a big sandwich and everything gets stacked on top of each other. And whatever is at the very top is what's going to be um, most visible. Now, the great thing about using the layers is that it allows you to create a kind of depth. Because if you didn't overlap things, your image starts to look very flat. And I will really encourage you that as you're getting used to Photoshop, work on your overlapping. Um, work on putting different... Um, things in different places so that you have that option to kind of create a depth effect with your picture. So for example, if we wanted our euros, our euros is kind of down here in the bottom. If we wanted that to be on top of the pen, all we would do is you could just click on that layer and you just drag it up and drop it. And there you can see that the edges of the euros came up and over the pen. Same kind of a thing. If you wanted the coin, to be on top of the Colosseum and the couple, you just click on that layer and drag and drop it where you want it to be. And there you can see that. And then you could move it, maybe you wanted it over here, whatever it happens to be, that's how you kind of rearrange um, the layers. Very simple, just a simple click and drag to get it to be um, where we want it to be. So those are a few things um, that just have to do with working um, with some basic layers. Um, in the next video, we'll talk a little bit more about merging and manipulating um, opacity of different layers.